Hello students, welcome to Immigration Tutorials. I am Hardik Thakkar, a faculty of English department at St. Xavier's College, Ahmedabad. In this video session, I am going to share my insight on expressionism. So students, what is expressionism? After listening this term, what comes to your mind? When this is your topic in literary criticism and it is a part of English literature. Therefore, you must be thinking that expressionism must have been a literary moment in which a group of writers or several group of writers must have adopted a style of writing through which they must have expressed their desire, their thoughts, their feelings and perceptions into their works. If you are thinking this, then you are partially right as this term is much more than this. To express freely, to present these individual and personal thoughts and feelings into literary works or any other art forms was the core base of this moment. However, all the literature and other art forms of all the times have directly or indirectly, fully or partially, intentionally or unintentionally have added expression and personal touch into them. Therefore, adding personal touch or expression into art or into literature was not a new concept and has never been a new concept. But what we are going to discuss here is something different from the one I have just mentioned. When we are going to talk about expressionism, then it is nothing but a modernist moment which took place in the early 20th century. Originally, this moment was started in Germany in 1905 with a painting exhibition by a group called The Bridge, which was the second wave of Expressionism. They presented their paintings with a jarring image and used color for symbolic presentation. Along with the abstraction in their painting to blur the presented objects just to show their feelings. However, the first wave of this expressionism had already taken place in the paintings of Vincent van Gogh and Edward Munch of 1880s and 1890s. But expressionism as a moment didn't come out until this group, the bridge, came and staged their art with a motif and named this moment. In 1911, after this group, came another group of young artists named the Blue Rider and led this movement further until the 1930s. This movement was declined later on due to the rising of Hitler in Germany and was completely banned in 1939. Expressionism had passed through these three phases before 1940s in Germany. But due to the ban in Germany, many scholars went to America and restarted this moment and named it Abstract Expressionism. The banned moment later on in Germany got revived in 1970 and they came to be known as Neo Expressionism. Students, I hope you remember how romantics during the 1800s used to write and used to express themselves into their art forms, into literature. The motto of romantics was to express their feelings freely and with spontaneity, spontaneous overflow, powerful feelings, Wordsworth. The same way this moment of expressionism did its work, therefore we can say that expressionism in art and literature is nothing but an extension of romanticism. However, the whys, the reason of these two moments are same, but the hows, the way to deal with of, of these moments are different. According to Google, expressionism is a modernist moment 
that emerged in early 20th century Germany. Artists working in this style distort the reality of their subject in order to express their own emotion, feelings and ideas. So according to this definition, we can say expressionists were against realism since they had tried to present their subject matter and their characters blurred and obscure, distant from reality, away from reality. However, romantics were not against realism, but they were driven by the love of nature, love toward nature and imagination and distant past. Another definition of expressionism can be like this. An expressionism is a moment which emphasizes on individual and subjective perspective, which has been characterized as a reaction to positivism and other artistic style such as naturalism and impressionism. According to this definition, we can infer that expressionism is against positivism, which means that the expression presented in the art forms by expressionist must be much of non-conformist, illogical and not based on any scientific inquiry, but they are more driven by individual perception and emotions which sometimes caricature a world which represent horror, disgust and pain, thereby presenting an apocalyptic subject matter and expression. It is needless to say that it is against naturalism since naturalism is an extension of realism. But of course, it is anti-impressionist moment as the French impressionism brings the external influences to which expressionism stand for internal and subjective viewpoint. Expressionism in literature in literature, expressionism in its complete form had taken place in 1917. Expressionism entered into literature due to warfare, World War I, age of mechanization due to urbanization, harsh reality faced by the world due to colonization, urban isolation and alienation due to Nietzsche's often quoted slogan, the God is dead and the entry of nihilistic philosophy into literature. Sigmund Freud's psychoanalytic theory, which gave birth to expression of the inner world, the world inside the mind of an individual, to do something against the social and political upheaval where the bourgeoisie manipulative systems encroach on proletariat society. Writers like Franz Kafka in prose writing represented characters who express their social anxiety by being transformed into a beast. Say for example the Metamorphosis 1915. He developed a similar concept in the Trial 1925, the Castle 1926. Expressionism was a dominant influence on early 20th century German theatre, of which George Kessel and Ernst Toller were the most famous playwrights. Expressionism was also presented in American theatre, including the early modernist plays by Eugene O'Neill, say for example the Harriet, the Emperor John and the great God Brown. Another writer like Sophie Treadwell and Elmer Rice, the adding machine. The other writers like Malcolm Lowry, who wrote the Under the Volcano, 1947. The poets like T.S. Eliot, who wrote The Westland and The Proof Rock. And the novelists like Ernest Hemingway and Jem Joyce, who wrote The Ulysses, in 1922. D.H. Lawrence, who wrote The Sons and Lovers, Patrick Wyatt, an Australian writer, Thomas Pynchon, William Plowers, Sino Cassie, Albert Rice, Tennessee Williams, 
Arthur Miller and Samuel Beckett use expressionism in their writings. In these writings, the characters are shown struggling. They are shown suffering from social anxieties. They are presented as victim of industrialization and colonialism, exploitations. They are shown as victim of a cruel and materialistic urban life. In expressionism, it is the character's spiritual journey, spiritual awakening, their internal journey where they where their mental development becomes the part of the subject matter. World War I had made this moment most popular during 1917 and afterwards. But before World War II, this moment had to be declined. And the other reason for this decline was it's the moment showing to the world a vague, bleak future where it couldn't cater, where it couldn't give something to the practical need of the time. However, this was all about the expressionism as an art and literary moment. If you have any questions regarding this so far, you can write in the comment box below. Thank you.